short stories about perfume. The sexiest scent on the planet ever, I-M-H-O, which stands for, in my humble opinion, which is irony and not serious. It's the smallest sexiest scent on the planet ever. Okay, well, this came about because I did it as a base. Almost think of this as the pasta for people to put the sauce on top of for a gin event. Because the gin people wanted to use some really um, highly restricted naturals. They wanted to put cinnamon and um, citrus fruits and some herbs, which, you know, you can't just go mixing up and putting on your skin. So I said I would make them a base that was know conducive to ginifying and that they could put tiny amounts of diluted essential oils on top of them so they all stayed safe and that's what we did so i made this from four things vanillin bergamot sedramba and isoe super but what happened at the event was people kept asking me could they just have the base could they have it without the gin botanicals on top so secretly is letting them have them and then a journalist said Oh my God, can I just have the base? Because it's the sexiest scent ever. Which I thought was great because I hadn't been intending to launch it, but then I thought, well, you know, maybe that would be a good idea. So I called it that sort of in honor of the 1980s albums you used to get. The greatest hits of 1984 ever, part seven. Um, so the whole thing is sort of mildly taking the mickey out of itself because it's like the most ultra British scent name I think but on the other hand people smell it and they go oh my goodness yes it is isn't it and somebody told somebody told me just this week that she'd been walking down the street and a, a friend just stopped her and said hang on what what is, what what do you smell what is that thing and when she said it's the sexiest scent ever well, seriously that's its name her friend said um well it is which makes me very happy.